What's up sport grappling geeks? Here's a quick rundown of the brackets for the worlds, and how the betting odds stack up so far. No surprises at ultra heavyweight, with Boo Chesha, the overwhelming favorite with the bookies. Note that UFC fighter, Antonio Braganetto, makes his comeback, that is, assuming he makes it out of the first round. At super heavyweight, Leandro Lowe is a favorite as expected, notwithstanding that he lost a close final in the worlds last year to Nicholas Maregali. I've been polling my audience, and Lowe is an even bigger favorite according to the data there. At heavyweight, Keenan Cornelius and Felipe Pena are the two big favorites. Strangely, no one on the side of Keenan's bracket was given specific odds. Also, according to my audience poll, three names which were not on the bookies' radar, have a shot. Now a medium heavyweight, things start to get interesting. On the first side of this massive bracket, Lucas Barboza and Hudson Mateus are the rightful favorites of the entire field. Moving to the other side, Gustavo Batista and Renato Cardozo, are the other two names significant enough to be given specific odds. If you haven't noticed yet, Cardozo is a 10 to 1 underdog, yet the odds of the field, in other words, someone not given specific odds, is at 5 to 1. Now this might seem particularly offensive. Implying that Cardozo sucks so bad that he has the worst shot of winning. But what happened was that the rest of field odds, moved to plus 500, after someone bet on a name outside of the so-called favorites. My audience poll reveals who that dark horse might be, with Mateo Stins, popping up as the third most mentioned name besides Lucas Barboza and Hudson Mateus. At middleweight, another divergence between the odds, and crowd perception happens. In this huge bracket, last year's champion, Gabriel Argus, and silver medalist, Marco Stinoco, are the two biggest favorites. Seems logical enough. On the other side, Ottavio Souza, and Isaac Baez, make up the other two so-called favorites. Once again, notice that the rest of field odds have been smashed down. Something is up, and the crowd sees something the bookies don't. My audience poll reveals who that dark horse might be. Jamie Canuto, last year's bronze medalist, and Tommy Langaker, 2018 European absolute bronze medalist are two names that the audience think have a shot at gold. In a particularly stinging rebuke, Marco Stinoco isn't even picked once in my poll. At lightweight, no real surprises. Last year's third-place finisher, Michael Langhe, and 2017 ADCC champ, JT Torres, are given specific odds as perceived front-runners. On the other side of the bracket, last year's winner, Lucas Lepre, is the overwhelming favorite, with Edwin Najmi, 2016 silver medalist, also given specific mention by the bookies. These odds seem more or less in line with my audience poll, with Torres and Lepre splitting the popular vote roughly by half. At featherweight, things are again straightforward with Gianni Grippo and Leo Saguiora the favorites on their side of the bracket. On the other side, Marcio Andre and Shane Hill Taylor are the other two significant names according to the bookies. These odds appear to match with my poll with the above-mentioned four names with specific odds, also being the top four names picked according to my audience. Things get out of whack again in the light featherweight division. On one side of the bracket, defending champion, Mikey Musumeci is the clear favorite, with Pablo Montovani, being the other name worthy of specific odds. On the other side, Ari Farias, and Joao Miao, are also significant names according to the bookies. As you can see, the rest of field odds, have been driven down. With the result being that Ari Farias and Pablo Montovani now look like they are the biggest underdogs for gold. My audience poll throws up these three mentions and Pablo is not even mentioned once. No clear dark horse is apparent though. I personally think it's Gabriel Morais, 2013 gold medalist and last year's bronze medalist, throwing the odds into a funk. Finally, Rooster ends this video with the craziest situation of them all. Bruno Malfacian is the overwhelming favorite. But look at Tomoyuki Hashimoto, this year's Pan's gold medalist, at plus 800, and Lucas Pinheiro, at plus 1200. Now look at the rest of field odds, which is at plus 700. Bear in mind, Kyotero has pulled out with injury. So if anything, all the money should have flooded into Bruno and slammed his odds even lower. Now throw in my audience poll, and three people still think Kyo is going to win gold. We live in strange times indeed. Nonetheless, I look forward to studying the matches and checking out what cool techniques and strategies pop up. By the way, my bracket prediction contest, which is the source for all the poll data you see, is closing soon.
Top 5 Predictors Win Some BJJ Scout Fanware, so head over to the link in the description to make your predictions.